Hello and welcome to today's Monday update. This is a busy and exciting week here at St. Luke. This is VBS week. Uh, this week we're going to be welcoming plenty of children and families, neighbors and friends to St. Luke as part of our vacation Bible school. We didn't get to do it last year, but thanks be to God, we get to do it this year. Uh, the theme for this year is Rocky Railway. And as we're doing this, as we're getting together for Vacation Bible School, we're going to be thinking about the great power of Jesus at work in the world and at work in our lives. Uh, thinking about the power of Jesus, we should always remember that it's a peculiar sort of power. The power of Jesus is not identical with the powers of this world. Uh, for example, the power of Jesus was shown perfectly on the cross. That's a mighty strange expression of power, isn't it? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 tells us this, but he, Jesus, said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul goes on, he says, therefore I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. In weakness, in the things that this world considers to be weak, forgiveness, mercy, humility, service, compassion, prayer, words of encouragement, God is at work in powerful ways. So be on the lookout this week for the peculiar power of Jesus at work in the world and at work in your life. Well, as we continue through this summer sermon series, we're continuing to think about stories. Uh, I've been sharing with you some stories that connect to the greatest story the world has ever heard, the gospel of Jesus Christ. But today I want to share with you an interesting nonfiction story, a little bit of history actually. Uh, there was a Jewish historian who lived around the time of Jesus. Uh, his name was Josephus. Uh, this book here is a book called The Jewish Wars. It's by Josephus. It's a history uh, written around the time of uh, Jesus, kind of contemporary to the life of Jesus, a little bit after. Uh, but it chronicles the Jewish conflicts uh, with the Roman Empire. Uh, I share this with you because Josephus, on several occasions, he corroborates the story of Scripture. Uh, Josephus helps us to recognize that the story of Scripture is not just a fanciful story, but rather it's a real story historical, altogether wonderful story of God's love for us in Christ Jesus. On several occasions, uh, Josephus references uh, Jesus, the disciples, other New Testament historical events. Uh, we call this extra-biblical evidence. It's evidence outside of the Bible. Well, that's just one of many, many, many stories uh, that point us to that great story, the good story, the gospel. Well, please keep Vacation Bible School in your prayers this week. Uh, and if you are amongst the many people helping with VBS in some way, thank you for sharing your time and your energy with us. Uh, thanks for watching this Monday update. God's blessings to you on your week.